Welcome to Midwest Media Group's technology webinar on the Panasonic AG HPX300 High Definition Camera. My name is Kane Peterson and today we'll take a look at the features and specs of this camera. The HPX300 is a brand new P2 format camera combining the high-end professional capabilities and standard features from the Panasonic HPX2000 series with the affordability and ease of use of a lower priced camera. Featured on the HPX300 are the three CMOS based imagers known as 3MOS. At 1 3rd inch, the 3 MOS can capture a full 1920 by 1080 resolution. 3 MOS is designed to bring the highest possible image clarity at the widest possible dynamic range. The HPX300 records a variety of image resolutions into not only the industry standard DVC Pro codec, but also a new mastering quality ABC Intra codec. The DVC Pro format gives you full backwards compatibility with devices and systems already using this format. For years now, products have been built around the DVC Pro family, and this camera fits right into your existing workflow with no additional investment. The HPX300 supports DVC Pro, DVC Pro 50, and DVC Pro HD. Standard on the HPX300 is ABC Intra. ABC Intra is a new MPEG-4 based codec, available at two different data rates, a 50 megabit format comparable to DVC Pro HD, and a 100 megabit format that gives you unparalleled quality at imaginable size. With ABC Intra 50, you get double the record time for your HD formats. ABC Intra 100 gives you full 10-bit, 422 color sampled images that deliver the best possible quality, especially when dealing with green screen work or high level color correction. 10-bit gives you four times the color resolution than a comparable 8-bit recording format. All ABC Intra codecs are recorded as intra frame only, optimal for any post-production workflow. The HPX300 allows for full 1080p, 24 frame recording, along with very cam like shooting modes ranging from 12 to 60 frames per second at 20 different selectable steps. Let's take a tour around the camera. The HPX300 ships with a standard Fujinon 17x zoom lens. The lens is interchangeable, attached with a 1 3rd inch bayonet mount. 2 3rd inch adapters are also available. The camera features chroma aberration correction, also known as CAC. This technology compensates for the color fringing you may see at high zoom levels, especially on lower cost lenses. Above the lens, we have the high resolution viewfinder that can run in both color and black and white mode. The screen of this viewfinder uses a liquid crystal on silicon panel for an exceptional color image. The side panel of the camera gives you quick access to the majority of the functions in one location. This makes working with the camera very easy, giving you everything you need from common image controls to accessing P2 media. Towards the lens of the camera, we have buttons for setting and adjusting the camera menus. Also available are three adjustable user buttons, giving you fast access to many of the HPX 300's advanced features. Assignable these buttons are features like a waveform monitor or vector scope, flash band compensation, and pre-record. The pre-record function sets the camera into a continuous recording mode, giving you up to eight seconds of recorded buffer, so you can never miss a moment of the action. Pre-record allows you to create shot subclips on the fly, allowing you uninterrupted recording for easier post-production. The HPX300 features a 3.2 inch 16x9 LCD monitor and two P2 card slots as well as an SD slot. The second P2 card slot can be fitted with an optional Panasonic proxy card option, allowing for low data rate proxy files to be recorded directly to the SD card. The HPX300's SD slot goes beyond just simple storage. Every user-selectable feature on the camera can be saved to the SD card and shared between any HPX300 camera. The SD card slot also stores preset scene files, allowing you for individual looks to be saved and shared with other HPX300 users. The HPX300 has unparalleled image control features, giving you seven different gamma looks, including two cine gamma film style looks. Also available is a new dynamic range stretch. This is a great feature for run and gun shooting, bringing out detail in the low lights while saving detail in the highlights with no additional lighting or configuration. On the rear of the camera, a wide variety of battery mounts are available. The HPX300 features a large number of professional grade connections including DC power in and out, firewire for PC device operation, and XLR audio inputs. Video output is available via two SDI connections as well as a composite video out. The HPX300 also has a Unislot wireless receiver option, giving you up to two channels of wireless audio built into the camera. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Panasonic P2 format, here's a little bit of background. A P2 card is a flash play storage format using a PCMCA form factor. Many laptops feature this card slot, or a P2 reader can be added. 
P2 cards come in storage sizes up to 64 gigabytes, allowing for over one hour of HD recording time using the AVC100 format. Panasonic has recently released new E-Series cards, giving you faster transfer rates, up to 1.2 gigabits per second, and they come standard with a five-year warranty. The P2 system allows for many advanced features, like pre-record, loop record, and a P2 card hot swap. You will never miss an important shot. Support for P2 and Panasonic camera codecs vary. Avid Media Composer has had support for DVC Pro HD format since version 2.1, and starting with Media Composer version 3, ABC Intra support was added. Avid Media Composer allows you to directly edit right off the memory cards for fast project deadlines. Avid DS has support for DVC Pro HD format since version 8, and Avid ABC Intra support since version 10. In either case, you have to use an Avid Media Composer to first import the material to be used in Avid DS, but once this step has been completed, Avid DS does provide native media playback. Apple's Final Cut Pro has had support for DVC Pro HD since version 4, and the new version 7 gives you native support for AVC Intro right inside the login transfer window. For even faster project turnaround, there are many third-party tools available that will allow you to bring in MXF material directly to the Final Cut timeline. Autodesk Smoke and Flame have had support for DVC Pro HD since the 2009 release of their software. They allow for importing or soft importing of material into your projects. The last feature we're going to leave you with is the rock solid Panasonic warranty. For just registering your camera with Panasonic, your warranty will be upgraded from one to five years. Beyond the features of the hardware warranty, registering also gives you direct access to all software and firmware upgrades for your camera, keeping you on the cutting edge. And now Ned Johnson from Panasonic is going to introduce a couple new products. We have a couple of new options. Actually, one of these has been out a little while longer. The AG HPG20, which is the P2 gear now with the recording capability. Before we had the little 10 unit, now we've added HDSDI as an input. This could be a great unit for field use, for a second P2 recording. You could bring in any other format that's got HDSDI into here and record 10-bit recording on this. It includes AVC intra frame, which I think Kane men mentioned before on the 300. It will allow you to convert to solid state recording on a P2 card and have high-end 10-bit recording in AVC intra frame. The big brother to this is new. This is brand spanking new this month, the AJHPM200. We've had the 110 out for some time. The 200 adds some interesting features. We now have in here an ability to have a little better user interface as far as editing functions. You can actually see your record side and your play side. You can lay video on top of an audio timeline. These were features before we had to kind of dump and do like an audio dub. Now we have real cuts only kind of an editing, editing interface that works a lot easier. This has got the six card slot, so you can record a ton of content in terms of having 64 gig cards. You could have hours and hours of recording in a clamshell device that you could literally pack up and uh, take with and start doing your editing, you know, either in the field or in your hotel room or wherever afterwards. Now we've added ABC intra frame in here as a standard. Before it was an option of $3,000. If you have any other questions or need a hands-on demonstration of the camera, please contact your Midwest Media Group sales representative. Check out Midwest Media Group online at www.mwmg.com for future webinar demonstrations or other products. Thank you for joining me for our web demo of the Panasonic HPX300 camera.